video for the engineer and today we are going to discuss a very small topic and that topic is of course uh, you know everyone is familiar but this video is totally helpful for those people uh, you know who are the freshers and who wants to learn an SAP basis and the preliminary level so this will be helping you so today we are going to discuss on SAP uh, stop and start and also uh, you know like how to stop and start SAP systems uh, using your SAP control command and also we will be discussing on uh, you know like a uh, little bit on how to stop and start so that it can be a very short video and everybody can be benefited out of it so first thing you need to uh, log into the server you just need to switch to your SID ADM alright so before you <coughs> stop the system ensure you validate if your system is already stopped or it is still running or just you can validate that using that command called SAP control hyphen nr instance number hyphen function get process list so you can as you can see my system is all running right now and also my GUI is accessible so I'll just bring down the system right now so to stop the system just you need to go to the SAP control hyphen nr then the instance number hyphen function then stop system so this will stop the system and you can validate the process by using the watch command and you just give need to give the command here use the watch command in order to see the processes again you know like if it is going down so what is going on it will be taking a little bit of time to bring down the system and whenever you are going for the you know stop and start you ensure you perform the clean rep clean restart so you just need to take a clean IPC instance number and remove all so that will clean up your shared memories and that will free up all your processes and when you stop the system completely you need to check if any process with SID ADM is running as you can see all my processes are stopped right now so the SAP is down right now so <coughs> we will doing a another thing that we will be stopping the SAP start services and to do that just function SAP control you just need to use the command same command SAP control hyphen nr instance number function then stop service and SID okay so this way you ensure that your SAP system is stopped and or your SAP start service is also stopped so and ensure that you have no process running like uh, you need to validate your system that this is running any process is running with your SID ADM and you need to use that command PS hyphen EF and grip SID ADM and that will help you so that will help you to stop the you know like check if all your processes are stopped or not stopped so now once you stop the system ensure you perform the clean IPC clean IPC instance number then you need to remove all so this will clean up the shared memories so ensure your shared memory is clean up and everything is done so now you are good to start with your SAP system so now the same thing you need to just start the SAP system like function start service because before you start the SAP system ensure that your SAP start services are running just you ensure this one and you just need to start the system right now ok so let me wait for a while so it will take some time to start the system then the dispatcher will be green and dispatcher is green means your system is ready to accept the incoming request and the request will be distributed to your work process so this is very basic level thing that uh, if you're starting as a fresher or you don't know anything about SAP basis you want to learn you can just follow this video and you can learn how to stop and start SAP system so let's wait for some time once everything is green we'll validate if the system is up or not okay so it won't take much time it will just update in every two seconds so yeah so now as you can see all green so now you're good to go with the SAP GUI I'll just log into the SAP GUI now so that we can validate the application side everything is fine so I'll log into the system here and once I log in alright so you just need to go to the t-code sm51 ensure your services are running up and application server status should be green I hope this video helped everyone and particularly the freshers and because my target audience is mostly I 
uh, try to help the freshers and ensure you follow these videos and if any suggestions anything you can let me know and thanks for watching this video and do subscribe Odia Engineer and also do share it across your friends thank you